another Tea Party Tuesday, where it may be a Tuesday, but in my world, it's always a tea party. And we have one of my favorite people on the planet here <laughs> having a tea party with me today, the amazing Ashley Taylor. Hi, Ashley! Everyone. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited Yay. you're here. I'm so happy to be here. Now, I have to tell you, our friend Kate Middleton sends her apologies that she could not be here. As you can see, she's actually training for the London Marathon. She is. She's getting fit. She's getting fit. I know. And you know what I think we need to do for her? I think we need to eat a donut for her. I know. Because you and I you love gourmet donuts. Yay! So I have like some awesome gourmet donuts for our tea party today. I'm so excited. So you have a little salty and yes. um, sweet mm -hmm. with a pretzel covered donut. Yep. I have um, potato chips. Just potato chips. Chocolate and potato <laughs> chips. What better combination? Uh, we have Earl Grey tea. Yes. And this is such a treat because, you know, not only are we friends, not yes. only do we travel the world together, yes. we have the most amazing time in Japan. No. We do all sorts of designs and art together, um, but we just have tea parties as friends together. All the time. What I love is I feel like we were set up by our mutual friends. Yep. Our friend Megan and Colton yes. set us up. Mm -hmm. and. Boy, were they right. I know. It's like we went on a blind date and we were like, <laughs> it was we... a perfect match. Right? <laughs> yeah, we were like, they were so right. We were meant to be I best know. friends. I know. And the first time we even met in person, we were supposed to meet for tea for about an hour and it was six hours long. And here we are. Still having tea parties, <laughs> living the best life. So we love your art. If I was Lizzie McGuire and <sighs> I was having art in my head, it would be in the style of Ashley Taylor. I love that analogy because I love Lizzie McGuire. See, we have so I much know. in common. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how like how did you become an artist? You know, it's so funny. When I was when I was really little, I saw Sleeping Beauty. And that when the moment when that book opens and it's the whole kingdom and it's like that beautiful design, I wanted to live inside of that book. And I Didn't said to my all? mom, I want to be an artist. I want to be an artist. And when I went to college for it, I had a professor and he just would never acknowledge me and they would have critiques and everyone's artwork would be on the wall and he'd go down the line and whenever it got to me, he would give me two dollars and say, go get me some coffee. At first I was confused. I thought maybe he just thinks I'm, I'm really nice and I'll just be the one in the class to do it, like a teacher's pet type thing. But um, I asked him after class, I said, did I, did I misunderstand the assignment? Like, is there something I could do better? And, and he said, well, I just don't know what to even say about your art because you have zero talent. <laughs> so when, oh I, when I, I know it was like, it like broke my heart into like a million pieces. So when I graduated, I didn't even try to put together a portfolio or try to oh. reach out to jobs because I was like, there's, there's just no way. Like, no one's gonna think I'm a good artist. Like, why am I gonna waste their time and show them my work? So I moved down to Florida and I worked at Walt Disney World. On one of my breaks, one of my friends came over and he saw that I was doing something on my computer. And he's like, what's, what's that? Did you do that? Did you draw that? And I was, I, I just said, yeah, that was, that's just what I do on my breaks. And he's like, this is what you need to do for a living because you need to really pay attention to where your mind goes, where it wanders, because that's where your heart is. Oh, so, that sounds like a Disney song. I know. So basically, I decided that, you know what? I'm just going to really work at this, because I really want to be an artist. I still really want to be an artist. So for three years, I stayed up till 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. So eventually, I started posting my stuff on social media. and. Before I knew it, Disney reached out to me and they said, why haven't you done artwork for us yet? I was like, oh, I didn't even think about approaching you guys because I was <laughs> I was still kind of like defeated and you know, you have thoughts of failure sometimes in your head and, and sometimes you don't realize that failure is part of the process because you fail, you learn, you grow, and then you keep moving forward. And I started doing artwork for Disney. Then our mutual friends, reached out to both of us and said, we think this would be a good match. Like, you guys are great personality-wise. We think your artwork would suit her universe really well. And 
once we connected, you know, the, the rest is history. The rest is history. Here we are, eating donuts. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Your story is so inspiring. I, I mean, obviously you gave such great advice there just by telling your story about embracing failure and picking yourself back up. But, you know, we have so many artists that look up to you. I mean, literally I see how much they adore your work and, and enjoy your work. Um, what advice do you have? I actually, I have like a little trick that I do. Ooh, <laughs> please share. So I take, we'll use this for an example. Um, I have a owl cookie jar on my desk in my studio at, at home and I fill it up with a whole bunch of different nouns and whenever I'm stuck for an idea I might grab one two or three pieces of paper and say it says cactus and another one says balloon well I have to draw something that incorporates both and it like really like makes you like dig deeper and just, is the cactus holding a balloon like is there, there just a balloon like flying away like it really like helps you get creative and you know you do it for 15 minutes or so and then usually you're able to like snap back into it and jump back into designing which i think is great so i have to i have to share at our tea party yes. when we first met yes um it was a dream you shared with me to uh have art in the wonderground gallery at disney and mm -hmm. so we just had a little brainstorm and yes. we said how are we going to get the Ashleys into Wonderground? <laughs> we titled it Mission Wonderground. We did, we did. We literally like left the tea party with a yeah. mission. And um, we were already working on yes. a Star Wars piece together. Yes. And we contacted Wonderground and we said, hey, we have this piece of art. We would love to debut it mm -hmm. in the gallery um, with the outfit and maybe as a print. And they said, yes. And then, so we started this artist series where you do a piece of art, yes. we put it on a piece of Her Universe apparel, mm -hmm. and we do signings, which, yes. I mean, there's nothing better I would love to do than meet up with with all of you, with yes. Ashley, and basically have a party. And that's what we do <laughs> with at Wonderground. And um, what was that like to walk into Wonderground and see your art hanging on the wall? It was such a huge moment, and I actually, <laughs> I took a picture of it and I wrote like a really, I wrote a really sweet note to that professor that told me no, and that professor that told me I had zero talent. And I sent him a note just saying, you know, I, I took your advice to heart and I worked really hard and now this is where I am. And I invited him to our signing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I uh, have to show because we just debuted Baby Groot dancing in his uh, in his flower pot. So we love the shirt. Thank you. But we also have something very exciting to talk about because Ashley, did you know that it's your unbirthday? <gasps> yes. You remember? Of course oh I remember. Oh my gosh. Every guest of Tea Party Tuesdays oh gets a gosh. present from us. And um, we have a special surprise for you. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> so that is an Alice in Wonderland pencil case. I love this so much. And then there's also a bracelet oh from Love gosh. and Madness. We also have this lounge fly Alice oh in Wonderland mini backpack. And so we wanted to give you these items because we're actually giving another fan one of these items. So since it's your on birthday too, um, we are surprising one lucky fan. So you need to go to heruniverse.com backslash tea party. And you need to enter the code word, what is it? Ashley's! <laughs> <laughs> so the code word is A-S-H-L-E-Y-S. -E so code word Ashley's. Enter the code word for the chance to win this Alice in Wonderland mini backpack stuffed with goodies. One lucky winner will get this awesome prize. Okay, Ashley, before you go, I have a very important question to ask you. My favorite Alice in Wonderland quote is, why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. So, what is one impossible thing you're believing in today? I really believe that Kate Middleton's gonna join us for tea. Oh my gosh, I totally it's gonna believe happen. it too. <laughs> you have to believe it, you have to wish it. <laughs> See, we did Mission Wonderground, now we have to do Mission Kate. 
Mission Kate. Oh, she! look at her. She's running uh, over here right she's now. She's totally running to I us. Know. We are meant to be best friends. I mean, she even has, for those of you who haven't noticed it yet, Kate has a permanent seat at our tea table. She does. We are meant to be friends with Kate Middleton. Kate, she doesn't have directions to Wonderland. That's right. We will be your Cheshire cat, Kate. Oh my gosh. Come this way and then that way. <laughs> and we're here for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I love that belief, Ashley. I love your curious nature. I love your drive. And keep being amazing. Oh, thank you so much for having me, friend. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. This deserves a, a cheers. Cheers. And you two at home, I hope you have a very curious day. Bye. Bye.